Welcome back to Newsmax Now. That was a scene in Portland, Oregon over the weekend where Antifa, so-called anti-fascist activists, assaulted independent journalist Andy Goh. Goh suffered a brain hemorrhage after that attack and was taken to the hospital. Portland police say they are investigating claims that milkshakes were thrown at Goh, as well as other uh, counter-protesters. Some of those milkshakes may have contained cement and other chemicals. Still with us, our political panel, Ellis Hennigan and Steve Rogers. And gentlemen, fortunately, you wouldn't be on this program if I didn't know you guys wouldn't both condemn that type of violence. But after that violence in Portland, Ellis, Senator Ted Cruz tweeted this out, quote, to federal law enforcement, investigate and bring legal action against a mayor who has, for political reasons, ordered his police officers to let citizens be attacked by domestic terrorists. Ellis, do you think the mayor and the police chief had more of a responsibility to prevent this type of attack? Oh, I hate for Ted Cruz to try and politicize something like this. There are laws in that state that ought to be enforced against violent people. Assault, I think it's called. Lock them up, bring on the evidence, send them to jail, but don't turn this into a political slogan. No, stop that. Well, yeah, Steve, I think Ted Cruz said what we all wanted to say, but that's not necessarily, I think Ellis is right. This isn't necessarily the place for the federal government, but I wonder... You know, why, you know, Andy Goh is a well-known figure. He goes to these protests. He covers them. Why doesn't he have more protection from police? Well, uh, as Reagan once said, Ellis, here we go again. Uh, as a retired police officer, I am a man of many hats, Ellis. I could tell you that uh, uh, the police are not to blame here. Uh, I believe it has been politicized because this is not the first time where there have been politicians who have told police, if this is the case, to stand down to not get involved. A federal inquiry, like every other civil rights inquiry, is in order here. And that, I believe, Ted Cruz is right on the mark. I don't think I said any guys, of that. I don't think I said any guys, of that. Lock up the people who beat no. the guy up. That's what we do in our country. But Ellis, you said it's not to be politicized. It's been politicized from the beginning. All lock right? up the people right, who committed lock the, the crime. Ellis, and, and lock up the mayor Ellis, and lock up those responsible well, have, if they no did evidence. cause the problem. Well, yeah, as long as you have the evidence. You don't know anything about that. When we look back, guys, at the Charlottesville protest, when President Trump said there were very fine people on both sides, Andy Goh was like one of the people he was talking about when he said very fine people. He obviously wasn't talking about the uh, neo-Nazis and the Ku Klux Klan. I don't know. Ellis, come on. I Ellis, come on. Like this it. Andy Goh guy, was he was, an, he was a journalist there to cover this, and Antifa oh. constantly attacks him. But you guys don't treat it the same way. No. You, you, you require would... every Republican to denounce what, what the neo-Nazis do and what Who these cares? skinheads and, and the Confederate flag-waving freaks do. But Democrats aren't required to denounce how, these Antifa freaks. How clear can I be? Ellis, if you beat up somebody, you should be arrested regardless of your politics. Can I be any clearer than that? Yeah, but you're not clear on one thing, Ellis. If the mayor, if the mayor and those in power yeah. told the police to stand yeah, down, and there's didn't. evidence. Now, let me, You've let got me no evidence let, of that. If there's Irresponsible evidence. charges. Ellis, you, see, you don't want to answer the question. If they are, if there's evidence that they told the police to stand down, should they be arrested for obstruction no, of justice? Give me the evidence. Uh, you, there's you're no not evidence. Answering? You see what I mean? If it they, exists, Ellis, it's a hypothetical question. If you can I answer it or not answer, if I, John, if, answer it. If I shoot you with a gun, you should arrest me. I didn't shoot you with a gun. I will try one more time. If there's enough evidence that proves that the mayor of that city and other people in power told the police to stand down and stay away, should they not if, be charged? If anybody commits a crime, oh. they should be charged. Right. I don't know how much clearer I oh, can be than that. These wild we fantasies. We won. Thank goodness. Wild we fantasies. We got our point across. God, it's so <laughs> simple. Ellis, Ellis, Republicans are blasted for this all the time. They're, they're told that you should do more to denounce the, the, the hate that comes from neo-Nazis and the far right. Shouldn't the left do more to okay, denounce John, what Antifa can I try, is doing? Can I try one more time? Everybody out there, regardless of your politics, <laughs> if you break the law, you should be arrested. Okay, but we're not talking about everybody. We're talking about Antifa in this case. Anybody. Antifa, Antifa. should be arrested. The Ku Klux Klan okay. should be arrested. Steve, if he does something violent, should be arrested. If I do, I should be arrested. How many I more times Steve, can I say I it? I think Steve might be ready to do something violent if you, if you don't know what to do. Gosh, quit politicizing <laughs> this stuff. Stick Here with the law. Again. Quit politicizing. It's a political it's, issue because you have power. It is. Oh. Wait, it's, been political. it's political when those Antifa guys put yes. on their black uh, masks yeah. and they go down there and they I cause give up. trouble. I give up. I've tried. Right. You all are hopeless. Well, fortunately, I've you tried. can give up, Ellis, because it's our last segment together. Ugh. You give up until next time. Ellis is tapping out. Steve, thanks for being Pleasure. with us. Great to see you, Steve Rogers and Ellis Hennigan. Very spirited conversation. I'm Look forward to having you both right back now. on.